إن ربكم الله الذي خلق السماوات والأرض في ستة أيام ثم استوى على العرش Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh brothers and sisters this is your brother Abdul Hamid from Insight into Islam we are here today Brixton station as usual we come here to give da'wah every Thursday this is the brothers they're selling incense and juice yeah all the brothers there they selling different things and we are here in the da'wah table mashallah and this is the christians giving da'wah life brixton one of the series that i'm starting now inshallah is yeah this is me assalamu alaikum this is one of the serious thing. Uh, the series I'm starting now, inshallah, is to interview brothers and the da'wah table. Anyone who comes in the da'wah table, interview them how they become Muslim, how they became Muslims, and little story. Today we have Abdul Sh Abu Layla. Mashallah, this is Abu Layla. Assalamu alaikum, Abu Layla. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi ya Abdul Hamid. Ahlan wa sahlan. MashaAllah, this is our brother Abu Layla. He's going to, today we're going to interview him uh, about his life, inshaAllah. MashaAllah, he comes <coughs> sometimes to help us on the da'wah table as well. So, brother Abu Layla, how are you doing? Alhamdulillah. Everything good? Alhamdulillah, it's a bit cold today, but we're here. I mean, the da'wah keeps us warm, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Good company, inshallah. That's it. The da'wah, cold, snow, anything. Yeah. yeah. This da'wah have to yeah. carry on. Yeah, rain, yeah? rain snow, you see, you see snow, sunshine, man. People walking, they don't know nothing about Islam, so it's our duty to, you know, to spread the religion. So, my brother, my first question for you is... Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself first. Um, yes, I became a Muslim. In your name? Oh, my name is Shakur. Um, I'm a, a res well, not a resident of Brixton, but I'm here regular. I come to this masjid because I think it's a good masjid, Masjid of Sunnah. Um, the community is good. I've known for a long time, maybe nearly 30 years I've known this community for. So I feel comfortable coming here. Um, I try to be active in Dawa as much as possible. Um, yeah, so I mean that's basically me. I, I mean, I don't, any other information may be a bit too personal. So if we keep it like that, inshallah, yeah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. <coughs> yeah, my second question for you, inshallah, is um, what way of life did you follow before Islam? Like, what was the religion, or what do you used to do before? Well, before I became a Muslim. I flirted with Rastafarianism for a while, obviously being like a um, from a Jamaican background, so that was my kind of thing. Like a and and as well as to be into the sound system culture. Um, I think nowadays they call it roadman. I used to be one of those kind of thing, you know. But I mean, so like it is a is like a is like a ragam. I think they call them ragamuffin back in the days, you know. What I mean, so that kind of thing I was on always believed in God as well so I've always had that kind of like that kind of like basis even though I was on the road even though I was doing bad things but always had the recognition of God in my heart and you know and, 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 and things like this you know mashallah mashallah so how did you uh, I mean how how did you who introduced you to Islam like you never heard about Islam before that you was Rasta uh, doing your own thing. Did you have like Muslim friends? Did you know Muslims in your area? Well, I'll tell you what, I knew about Islam before as Rasta. I'll tell you, I think two, two incidents is what, well, three incidents is what stick out um, um, in my mind. When I was in school, secondary school, I was to sit next to this, um, this Pakistani boy 
and uh, we were doing some maths and I was trying to scratch my head trying to work out this equation and I asked the guy how do I work this out he told me the formula I had some sweets in my pocket at the time so I offered him one and he said no I'm fasting I said what's that I said well, well Islam we fast so that was my, one of my first in- introductions into Islam I was about 14 my second one was um, when I was uh, maybe about 17 I was in some some nightclub when a, a DJ he was talking about he said about the Rastas they worship Selassie the um, the Christians worship Jehovah and the Muslims worship Allah and I thought to myself Allah what is he talking about an Asian God for ignorance I didn't, I, I, I didn't really know it's like a, a universe or the name of, of, of God and the third time was Actually, the first time it raised me now, it'll come back to me maybe later on in the interview, but there's three instances okay. where, the, uh, where I was like um, reminded or like some Islam came up to the forefront and it, came, and it kind of sparked something, mm-hmm. even though I was unaware of it at the time. But it's like, you know, when you put maybe a bit of water on a seed yeah. without even knowing that you, you spilled a bit of water on it mm-hmm. and then it, from there it started to grow. Yeah, yeah mashallah. You see, the, I mean, this is something that uh, I was just thinking when you were saying that as well, mashallah. This is about da'wah, like, you know, everyone can, like, can give da'wah by, you, like, maybe someone can just give you a leaflet or say something, a small thing, like, like, as you said, the Pakistani guy who said, like, I'm fasting. Yeah. This is like even small things like that when you say, you know, people, make some people think, like, oh, what is this? Why are you fasting? And exactly. this could lead to people like to. So I always say people don't be shy to, you know, to at work or school. Just do whatever you can. Just tell them something about Islam. That might be the, the you know, the open the door for them to read more about Islam and stuff. So from that now, when did you actually start looking into Islam and stuff like that? Um, I started to look into Islam, I think, Around about the first Gulf War, properly, yeah. And I was, um, like I say, I was, um, I was at the time I was living in Oxford, and I think the round about the time when the first first Gulf War was on, there was a bit, like a sort of just short just stuff. And I was about to pick up some contraband. I say no more. From and so I had to travel from Oxford to Reading. On my way to the train station in Oxford there's some Muslims giving out leaflets or booklets and one of them was called the true message of Jesus so I thought let me read that because like I said bearing in mind I always believe in God you know what I mean so I took the so I took the booklets took the booklets and um, read it on the train I thought to myself gosh this makes a lot of sense man I've never really because as, as we are uh, told, those who are grown up in a Western uh, society and, and mainly Christian dominated society, we're told about Jesus being son of God or God and, and, and so forth and so on. But this spoke about Jesus in a totally different light as being like a messenger of God and being no more than a messenger and not the son of God and not God. And it just made a lot of sense to me and I thought, wow. So that was another catalyst of me, like, you know what I mean? So it was like a, a, like stage, but that was one of the main ones. What made me actually look, go a bit more serious into into Islam and look at us, investigate a little bit more. Okay, mashallah. You see, this is the same thing I said, you know, the leaflets, the reading, and introducing people into Islam. You know, this is one of the reasons I want to do this video, so that it's not like just to listen to people's stories, but where it starts and how you end up becoming Muslim. Obviously, everything is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but Allah makes a way for us to, to work towards what we achieve. So you, you are not Muslim. There must be stages like you go through to become a Muslim by someone introducing you, giving you leaflets, whatever. So the person who actually started the journey Yes, yes. The person who actually started and the first the first time who gave you da'wah, you will get the reward, inshallah. 
You know, it's not only the person who gives you the shahada, but the person actually introduces you something, small thing, you know, that inshallah it will, you will get the reward inshallah. So then at what point did you say, you know what, I want to become a Muslim? Um, i say one of the points I became, um, um, where was the deciding factor, is um, I'll have to reverse a little bit because I got myself a um, paperback Quran because at that time I was reading the Bible trying to find out answers like I said I flirted a bit with Rasta Ethiopian World Federation and 12 tribes of Israel Rastafarian um, organizations reading the Bible looking for answers not really getting satisfied with the answers what they were coming up with um, so a friend of mine got me a paperback Quran bearing in mind they say don't judge a book by its cover but when a religious book comes in a paperback form and especially when it's English and especially if you're a serious um, search for, uh, for um, answers I judged it by its cover and I thought this doesn't really look like a serious yeah Jazakallah Khair Abu Layla Hafizakallah so uh, how long have you been Muslim now? well I've been Muslim 30 years now, coming up to 30 years. Alhamdulillah. All praise be to Allah for taking me out of the, the, um, the path of darkness into the light. Um, some people may get it twisted and think, well, you, you become a Muslim and it's, it's, everything is like, yeah, you know I mean, everything is hunky dory, everything is smooth and everything like this. When you become a Muslim, you're tested. And uh, the Aqidah of Ahl Sunnah Wal Jama'ah is that your Iman or your faith goes up and sometimes it decreases. And, and, and from you recognize that, then, then, then you know what I mean, then um, you, you tend to deal with, with the low points and, not, and tend not to get excited with the high points. So it's not a, it's not a thing of like, you know, then you're walking amongst the angels, now you become a Muslim. You're tested much, so much so, more, so much even more. It's tested with poverty, sometimes it's tested with wealth, sometimes it's tested with um, uh, uh, added on family, sometimes it's tested with the family getting taken away from you, your health, and, and so forth and so on. So it's, it's like 30 years I've been a Muslim, and it's a trial and a test. MashaAllah. Jazakallah khair for the interview, for your time. Barakallahu feekum. Inshallah, we'll do more interview of this every week. Inshallah, we'll interview some of the brothers from our community uh, to see how they become Muslims. Barakallahu feekum. Inshallah, support our organization Insight into Islam. This is your brother Abdul Hamid. We'll see you in the next episode. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.